Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. I'm going to do another uh, 1950 Chevrolet pickup upgrade. Now, the previous videos I did the standard version here, 1950, and then an upgraded version I did like extra size wheels, tow winch, some exhaust stack sticking out, and sort of like an upgraded ramen grill. So I'm going to see what I can upgrade it even further. So maybe we should try uh, tank tracks on the ground. It's a good upgrade. Makes it much more heavy duty anyway. Just sketching them in lightly. Then how about a plow in the front? Like a bulldozer plow. Add some hydraulic rams maybe. And what else can we add? Maybe we can add a hydraulic ram at the uh, arm at the back. The buzz saw. That'll be pretty cool. Maybe some extra armor I'll do on the outside when I start inking it and stuff. So. Let's start with the bulldozer grill. Nice and spiky. And sort of like front facing as well so it can push things to the side. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. Maybe let's do some extra spotlights on the top as well. Let's draw those in. Add some hydraulic rams. So I'm setting a hose on either side for the oil to pump through. So this will push the actual plow down. Think of the bottom of here, maybe I'll do like a striped black design. I'm just thinking about random ideas I'm actually drawing this, so I haven't really planned this or anything, but that's the fun of it. Drawing a previous car and added these cool modifications. I'll do that, finish it off later. I want to do that time lapse. Okay, uh, so I started drawing the light in that was on the front fender. And draw this round and bring this round. Let's add a mate, chunky fuel tank there or storage hatch, whatever. Let's add armor plate here. One here. Now I did uh, two exhaust stacks out the engine. And maybe we can upgrade that to a V8 supercharger. With a blower on top, that would be pretty awesome. So. Maybe I'll do this in actually a thinner pen just so. Uh, 0.05 graphics pen. So we'll do the blower on top. Yeah, let's do the cam belt coming down here. Connecting wheel. Supercharger box at the top. Comes down to a big block. This will be the hole for the bonnet. And bring this belt down. And use a connecting cylinder between the belt. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. There we are, just drawing around. Let's do an armoured front windscreen. With the vents. Okay, now 
quite complicated bit is the hydraulic ram at the back that I wanted to put on. So I'm just going to do the back panel first. Okay, so I want this boom to lift. So I'm going to do a pin there where I can put a hydraulic ram. Now I want it to pivot here. So we'll draw that up. And underneath here, I need a hose on the hydraulic ram to pump oil in. The side of it, so you can see this middle section is in between here. This will be the main circular saw housing, the flywheel. Is that a small generator on here actually? This will be the cooling rods, injection hosing, the flywheel there for the pivot. Okay, so we've got the generator and the hydraulic booms on the arms. Maybe a small hydraulic boom here just to move the saw a bit more. Now let's do the saw blade. Just doing spikes all the way around. Add some extra teeth. Okay, now we can do the rear fender now. Bring the hood round. Okay, we do the tank trucks now. So I'm just going to do some rectangle blocks coming along here. Just these blocks would be the main outline for the caterpillar tracks I want to do. Instead of the wheels. I think we're going to caterpillar tracks just like an upgrade in sort of way. Maybe downgrading the speed and lightness of it. Yeah, maybe if you did have a V8 big box in the engine upgrade, I could be able to handle it and get up to good speeds. Maybe 60 to 70 miles an hour, you never know. So I'm just drawing these up. Circle to the sides and across. Maintaining this pattern right across. Gets to the end to be a smaller one. Like so. Now I need to do the main drive wheels in here. And maybe I'll do a connector and rod in the centre bit. Which will hold the suspension housing. Just like so. Add some cog bits at the inside. The inside of the fenders. Add some strong hydraulic suspension underneath. Shock absorber. Okay, now I think I can start with shading. Let's maybe the grill in the behind here. Okay, I think that's everything. So the shading is just could be like what I usually do. So I start off with just the blocks at the bottom. This is just the way I do it. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it cross hatching or stippling, whatever. Ten techniques you find best work for you. So I leave white highlight in between the shapes. And I want to bring the shadow up to slow the curl with the shape. So 
Got that thinner pen. Bring that up. Bring it round. Now just follow this with all the shapes. Now because it's a white highlight already here, as you can see, I'm just going to shade the other side of that in black just to make that white highlight stand out. So there's a white highlight on this edge. On this edge, I'll just do a darker shadow. I think I'll leave it as that guys. So you can tell I've just continued with the block kind of shading all the way around different objects and stuff. Go on the saw as well and all of the hydraulics and stuff. Continued the pattern and stuff like that. Um, I've also done a small red outline 
just on the outskirts, just with a felt tip pen, nothing fancy, and a little bit on the outside. The Copic markers as well, kind of nice grey tone. Pretty straightforward, but uh, I think it's an improvement from the last one I did. So, like the growth of the Chevy. Da, 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 da. This is upgrading level two. <laughs> I think there. But yeah. Any suggestions for any other videos? Just uh, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll be back with another video very soon.